Hi, Michael Tebow here with this week's edition of Mike's Marketing Minutes. Done for you marketing systems. Thanks so much for stopping by this week. And how are you? How are you doing this week? And how are your customers doing? So I'll tell you a little story. This week I had the opportunity to meet with a platinum uh, marketing group of business owners in North America. And I meet with them uh, bi-weekly. And, you know, we talk about the climate and what's going on. We talk about marketing and general business. And this is a group of really smart business owners. It comprised of restaurant owners and auto and some retailers. And it's, it's really interesting to see and gauge, you know, how businesses are doing and how their customers are doing from the feedback that I get from them every week. And customers are angry, right? I mean, especially if you own a restaurant. Uh, you know, they, they're not exactly sure what's going on. Do uh, you have to wear a mask? Do you not have to wear a mask? You know, where is everybody at with their staff and immunizations? And I know I'm in Michigan and we're seeing some spikes right now and it's really, really tough. And uh, the other concerning factor was it's, it's tough to find staff right now, right? Because they're being supplemented for unemployment. So it's hard to get them to come back to work. So there's some big challenges out there for business owners, restaurant, auto repair, and retail. And we get that, so we wanna help. And one of the things that we talked about is, you know, motivation and how to get things into action. And this holds true with your customers as well. So I think it'll make a little more sense after I go over this real short uh, video for you um, and kind of explain what we talked about. But there's really only two reasons why people are motivated to do anything. Okay, and one of them is a positive because you want something. Just like this baby's crawling towards that toy because it wants the toy. That's a positive, happy, motivational factor that's pushing that child into action to get the toy. And it's just like ourselves. We're gonna be doing things because of positive reinforcement, because of um, positive things that we want in our lives and our business, right? You move towards making more sales, getting more customers, making those customers happy. Maybe you have a goal, maybe it's retirement, you know, maybe it's something monetary, uh, you know, maybe it's a, a house or, um, you know, a vacation property, or it's sending your kids to college. So those are all positive things and those move us to motivate us to move into action, to take action to get those things. So that's one factor of why we do things. And it's the same thing with your customers, right? Uh, your customers, if you own a restaurant, I'll use restaurants again, for example, are hungry. That, and, and so they want, they have a need and you have a restaurant and you're going to fulfill that need. So they move in a positive direction because no one goes to a restaurant to be unhappy or to get upset, right? You go to a restaurant as an escape and it's a positive, happy experience for your customers uh, because they don't have to cook and someone's going to take care of them and wait on them and serve them. That's a positive thing. That's a want. So it moves them into action. And we use that with our marketing uh, to be able to get more new customers into our businesses. Um, now, the other, the flip side of the coin is the negative part, right? You want to get away from something. And there might be an element of fear that's involved with that, especially right now with COVID, right? And the vaccine and we don't know what's going on and when's this all going to end and when are our businesses and everybody going to be able to go back to normal. So, in all, and you move away from things that you don't like. So, you know, uh, uh, an example of that, if you have a business, uh, maybe your bills are piling up, right? And you're, especially right now, experiencing some financial difficulties. So you wanna move away from that negativeness. You wanna move away from those bad emotions. And so that propels you into action. And that's another way to motivate us, to get us to do things, right? And uh, like General Schwarzkopf, one of my favorite quotes is, um, you know, at least do something. Uh, if you move forward, if you move sideways, I'm paraphrasing here, but motion is good, okay? Because we can always course correct, right? So uh, don't embrace the fear. And I know, like I said, a lot of business owners, especially talking to them this week, are fearful of the situations we're in, but use that fear to motivate you into action. 
okay? So you might be moving away from something or you might be moving towards something. It's the same thing with your customers, especially if you have like an auto repair shop, right? They have a problem that they wanna get away from. Their car's broke and they wanna get it fixed. So you use that message in your marketing. So it's the same thing for your customers. But it's okay to be fearful and it's okay to be motivated to get away from something you don't want to move something towards you do want. So that's really the two reasons why we are propelled into action in our different motivations. So if you are experiencing any of that fear or you want to move towards something you know, positive like those goals and you want to expand your business and get more new customers, simply click the button below and you can jump on a free strategy session with one of our marketing experts in your industry. We can analyze what you're doing right now and come up with a plan for you to get what you want or move away from those things that you don't want. So just click the button below. It's free because you open our blog and you're on our list. Thank you very much, by the way, and I'll see you next week.